The 92 km Hoima Kaiso Tonya Road is to cost government 314 billion shillings and is expected to be complete by December 2014. According to the Ministry of Works and Transport, Ugandan taxpayers will meet all its costs. Construction work was launched by Vice President Edward Konuka Sekandi and Turkish Deputy Prime Minister Basil Atalai at the proposed site of the oil refinery in Kabale village, Hoima district. Local leaders wrapped government claiming that people's property had been undervalued and even the compensation claims were being settled very slowly, yet the people have to move to create a room for the road and the oil refinery. Others complained that local people had been left aside in the allocation of jobs in the oil sector. Yes. It's an issue here. We need to revisit the compensation rates for this particular project and even for those other projects that will come up. People who are to be resettled or are supposed to move from this area, they are also worried, they always contact us leaders in the area. We pray that the government should put in place a good program for them, more especially the women. Minister of Works and Transport, Engineer Abraham Biandala, apologized for the slow property evaluation exercise, but he allayed the fears of the people, saying that the process was now complete and the Uganda National Roads Authority, UNRWA, would begin the compensation exercise. He faulted local leaders, saying they failed to update property rates, leading to the undervaluation. I would like to give the assurance of, the minister, of my ministry and that of UNRWA that every project affected person shall be fully compensated. The district leaders urged government to empower small vocational institutes to churn out artisans from among the locals. They also want development partners, especially the contracted companies, to pass on skills to the ordinary Banyoro. The Omukama of Banyoro, Solomon Gafabusai Guru, who made a surprise visit on the project, asked his subjects to participate fully in the ongoing developments in the kingdom to improve their livelihoods. Vice President Edward Kionuka Sekandi was optimistic that the road would boost the economic development of the area through improved accessibility of markets. The road therefore is going to enhance the socio-economic transformation of the people in this area. When our roads are in good conditions, this is important especially for farmers who will easily access markets as hosting production. A tax company, Colin Tassat, has been contracted to implement the roadworks. Tiawasatumba Abubakal, NBS Television.